he started to mentor me. He started to really challenge me. He started asking me these questions and he started encouraging me to ask questions of myself of what is it we're really trying to do here in the squadron? What is the big picture we're after? Not just doing these projects, not just testing these things that we're building, not just deploying them all over the world. What is it we're really doing? How does this fit into the big picture of national security? Jason LaDuke, back with you here with more tips on how to be the kind of boss you always wish you had when you were starting out. And today, we're going to wrap up our discussion of different leadership styles with a transformational leadership style. And I think with all the styles we've covered over the last couple of months, the last couple of videos, I think you've got kind of the basics and some different styles that you can employ in just about every situation and every condition that your team might be in from just getting started all the way up to being very advanced. And that's what transformational leadership is. It's something we use with advanced teams. And what we're trying to do with transformational leadership is inspire our team to go above and beyond expectations and work towards a shared vision that we give them or that is given to us as a team. And it's one of the hardest leadership styles to employ because it really does demand that we have a team who understands authority, responsibility, how to balance those things and how to think ahead and how to think how they can do their jobs without being told. And so there are four components to transformational leadership. And the first is this idea of inspirational motivation. It's not enough to just give them tasks. We really have to, as leaders, share and communicate what the shared vision that we have for our team. We have to talk about what that meaning is, what that bigger picture is that everybody's on the team's work contributes to. And we also have to challenge them. It's not enough to just assign them tasks. We really have to push them to think about how they can contribute and how they can contribute in a way that we as their leader may not have thought about. We're really relying on them to think about their skills and abilities and how they can best contribute. The second one is called individual consideration. And what we have to recognize with individual consideration is not everyone on our team is motivated the same way. We have to recognize that people have different motivations, that they view that big picture vision a little bit differently than we might view it or that any, anyone else on the team might view it. And we have to think about how those all fit together as, as individuals they contribute to the team. The third thing that we need to be able to do if we want to employ transformational leadership is we have to do what's called idealized influence. We need to set the example for them. So we need to be constantly working on our own skills, constantly improving ourselves, showing our team that we are also thinking about how we can continuously contribute in a new way or a better way to the shared vision in addition to expecting that of them. And finally, we need to give them intellectual stimulation. We need to, if we're going to employ this transformational leadership style to get the best, the most creative, the most innovative solutions, the best way to achieve that big picture vision, we have to encourage them to challenge their assumptions, ask them engaging questions to get them really thinking about their contribution, thinking about how they can help solve the problem, thinking if we're even talking about the right problem, and we have to allow them to do some exploration, some experimentation, their solutions, and we have to be really tolerant that they may make mistakes along the way, let them figure out those mistakes and correct them instead of jumping in to solve it for them. Now, as always, there are some cons with the transformational leadership style. It requires patience. This is not for quick decisions or where strict compliance is necessary. If you need those things, we've talked about other styles that may be better. This is for innovative, creative solutions and long-term achieving a big vision. We also have to resist showing them what to do or how to do it. Remember, with this style, we're trying to develop future leaders who are autonomous, who understand responsibility and authority and how to balance those things together because it's one of the best ways to develop those leaders of the future. So to give you an Air Force example, back from my days in the Air Force, when I was a, a new director of operations, my squadron command, actually I wasn't a new director of operations, I'd been doing it with another commander for about a year, but a new commander came in and he started to mentor me. He started to really challenge me. He started asking me 
these questions. And he started encouraging me to ask questions of myself of what is it we're really trying to do here in the squadron? What is the big picture we're after? Not just doing these projects, not just testing these things that we're building, not just deploying them all over the world. What is it we're really doing? How does this fit into the big picture of national security? How is what we do here in this one squadron important to achieving the objectives of the United States of America? And so that was how he employed that transformational leadership style with me to encourage me to ask questions, to think more big picture, and to think about not just what we were doing, but how it fit into a much bigger picture than we were talking about on a daily basis. Okay, that's the end of our discussions on leadership styles, unless you have one you'd like to talk about or one you'd like us to do a video on. And if you do, let us know in the comments or let me know in, in a DM. But if you like this video, if you found it helpful, please like, comment, and share. Slide into my DMs, I don't mind. Please pass this on to someone you think can use it, maybe your boss, maybe a coworker. And as always, please keep watching and developing your leader's mindset. Onward and upward.